Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we have some more new product. First up from us at Brownells, uh, we've got our reintroduced retro barrel line for the AR-15 or M16. Uh, right here I have a 14.7 inch model, which is a great option if you want to pin and weld an A2 or A1 length flash hider, you could throw that on there and get to your legal length. Uh, it's also available in a 12.7 inch model right here. If you're doing an XM177 clone, that's a great barrel. Um, also available in 16 inch. Soon we're gonna have back in stock the 20 inch M16A1 standard, uh, you know, your standard GI barrel. That'll be back in soon. We'll also have some different configurations uh, down the road as well. So a few great features about these particular barrels. Uh, these carbine barrels here, as well as the M16A1, all have a one and 12 twist. So that's standard for, uh, or it's correct for those period guns back from the 60s, 70s. Uh, and they stabilize a 55 grain uh, M193 bullet uh, perfectly. Uh, they'll also work with those lighter loads down to 40 grains or so. Um, a few other features, uh, it does have the standard uh, period correct profile. So skinny under the hand guards, 625 at the gas block journal um, and the same profile up front. Uh, they do not have F-marked front sight bases, so it's the standard height uh, front sight base. Uh, we are installing all the uh, components up front. We are pinning uh, the front sight base. you got your sling swivel here, and you have your front sight. Uh, if you want to be 100% uh, correct, you'll need to swap that with an A1. This is an A2 post, a uh, nice post on it. It's got a circular handguard cap, and we are remanufacturing uh, the slip ring. So we've got a flat slip ring versus the newer A2 style, newer as in 1982 or so, uh, style delta ring. So it's got a flat A1 style slip ring. Um, other features, chrome line bore and chamber, magnetic particle tested, all the things you look for in a quality barrel. That's Brownells Retro M16A1 Barrels. And next up from Spur, we have their new QD mounts. Uh, Spur is of course, uh, very well regarded for their high-end uh, optic mounts. I believe this is a 34 millimeter mount right here. Uh, the great thing about spur mounts, you get a ton of surface area on your scope, especially for these big fat tubes. You want a lot of clamping uh, surface area so nothing shifts around, especially under high recoil guns. Uh, you can see there, six bolts per ring. Um, you can also purchase aftermarket items to attach uh, different devices to the exterior. Um, one nice feature about the spur mounts, once you get your optic in there uh, and it's mounted, you can use this handy device, slide that in under your scope, and it'll pretty much level your scope for you, uh, just sliding this in underneath it. Um, now the new feature on it is the QD uh, mechanism. You can see there, not really uh, that large off to the side of your rifle, um, and it's a pretty nice mechanism. Of course, it's from spur. Uh, so press down the, the uh, latch there and lift up and that disengages uh, the lever there. You can see here the entire sidebar comes up, press those down and that'll clamp down uh, again against your uh, Picatinny rail. You'll notice on the bottom two, integral lug there to engage your rail so nothing's gonna shift around uh, during firing. Uh, of course, all the quality uh, everyone's come to expect from Spur now in a QD package. And next up, from Dead Air Armament, we have their Chemo Adapters. Uh, now these are an interesting uh, device. Basically you take your Silencer Co. suppressor, swap one of these out, either an Omega or a Saker, and then you can now use Dead Air Armament muzzle devices. Uh, basically they're new flash hiders uh, or muzzle brakes. Uh, so that way, say if you already have Dead Air devices or you're transitioning to them, you can still retain your Silencer Co. suppressor just swap out the rear, and now it's compatible with your rifles uh, with these adapters. Again, simply replaces the rear of those uh, suppressors, in this case, uh, the MAD mount, and then it, you throw it on your rifle like any other dead air suppressor. Pretty neat idea from Dead Air Armament. And next up, from James Madison Tactical, we have their new drop-in trigger. Uh, interesting thing about this, uh, well, like, like a lot of uh, drop-in triggers, pretty much everything on this is CNC and precision machined. Um, you can see here the exterior is uh, aluminum, the drop-in housing, and then everything else is stainless steel. Uh, you get about a three and a half, four and a half pound trigger pull, and it is pretty darn crisp. Um, it's preset uh, as far as the adjustment on it. Simply drop this in, 
install this, the uh, two screws here and you're good to go. Really simple installation, uh, really nice machining. That's new from James Madison Tactical. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.